with appropriate reactions ay and ax done so here roller support can be replaced with the reaction rb and let me do that half distance either from f or from b let me have it over here rb cos 30 is creating an anti-clockwise moment at a that's why a positive sign so plus rb cos 30 multiplied by the entire beam span that is ab okay and that's the resultant it is making an angle of 70.36 with the horizontal good evening students this is manas patnayak your friend and tutor and today's problem is for all the students who have difficulty finding the support reactions let's say i ask you that find me the reaction at b find me the reaction at a will you be able to tackle this problem especially when you notice that there is a point load that there is a triangularly varying load there is a uniformly distributed load and apart from that there seems to be a moment of a couple at this point d on the beam how to tackle with such questions on force analysis on beams this and much more coming up in today's session so guys this is going to be very interesting this is especially for all the students from jntu hyderabad and uh, pune universities because i have observed that such problems appear pretty often in their end semester examination so do watch this video right till the end here we go let's start sir what is the first thing to do in fact, the first thing in any engineering mechanics problem is to make the free body diagram. Sir, what is the body over here? It's simply a beam. You need to free this beam from the support at A and from the support at B. And if you notice that this roller support here is inclined. I mean, roller support we have observed it is like this. Here it is inclined slightly at an angle of 30 degree. Therefore, the reaction will also be inclined. Okay. I'll get to that. Don't worry. The first thing to do immediately is to uh remove this support and replace it with appropriate reactions ay and ax done so here roller support can be replaced with the reaction rb and that eventually is making an angle of 30 degrees you can see it over here okay done so sir if this is rb we know that its component here is going to be rb cos 30 and here the component is rb sin 30 agreed once more rb cos rb sin done very easy so the next thing to do is to uh, transform these triangularly varying loads and this uniformly distributed load into point loads can we do that yes we surely can you just need to find the areas let me just demonstrate this to you sir this is the height of the triangle and that's the base of the triangle we know very well that the area of a triangle is given by half of base into height if you watch carefully half of base that is three meters three meters let me write this height is sir five kilo newton per meter isn't it so meter and meter uh, one sec one sec are going to cancel each other out five three is 15 15 over 2 is 7.5 so we can replace this triangularly varying load by a simple point load of magnitude 7.5 kilo newton and let me do that can you see this yes sir we can see this but uh, uh, why have you kept this 7.5 kilo newton at a distance of 1 meter here it is what is the reason or what could be the possible reason the reason is very simple students please remember whenever you come across any triangularly varying load okay especially when there is a right angle over here from the right angle the distance that the new point load is going to have is l by 3 this distance is l by 3 if you work out the value l is 3 so 3 by 3 is nothing but this much is going to be 1 okay so that's why you see this 1 over here and obviously 3 minus 1 is going to be 2 is this okay to everyone and now dealing with uniformly distributed loads it's very easy what you just need to do is uh, sir this is the height of the rectangle and that's the base of the rectangle so base of the rectangle is simply 1 meter height of the rectangle is 2 kilo newton per meter okay so the area of the rectangle if you see very carefully it is equal to 2 kilo newton per meter multiplied by 1 meter 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 cancels what remains is 2 kilo newton and this is going to act right at the center of fb okay right at the center of fb that means half distance either from f or from b let me have it over here fair enough now this is a perfect recipe now you can go ahead apply the equations of equilibrium to find the unknown values of ax ay and rb how to do that let me start with the moment equation and i'm going to take the moment about point a is equal to zero that is going to be my starting point 
ओके लेट मी टेक द मोमेंट अबाउट ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो आई हैव टू वरी अबाउट ऑल दी फोर्सेस एक्सेप्ट ए एक्स एंड ए वाई द रीजन बींग वेरी सिंपल ए इज द पॉइंट अबाउट विच आई एम टेकिंग दी मोमेंट ए एक वाई एज वेल एज ए एक्स दे आर पासिंग थ्रू दिस पॉइंट सो यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू ड्रॉप पर्पेंडिकुलर्स और यू कैन जे दैट द पर्पेंडिकुलर ड्रॉप विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो देर करस्पॉन्डिंग मोमेंट्स विल बी जीरो ओके ऑलवेज रिमेंबर इफ यू आर टेकिंग द मोमेंट अबाउट अ पॉइंट एंड सम फोर्सेस आर पासिंग थ्रू यू डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट दोज फोर्सेस ओके यू हैव टू वरी अबाउट टेन एंड ऑल ऑफ दीज फोर्सेस इन नॉट ए एक्स एंड ए वाई एनी वे लेट स्टार्ट सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू डील विद दिस टेन किलो न्यूटन फोर्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ए सी सर दिस ए सी इज टू सर दिस इज क्रिएटिंग अ क्लॉक वाइज मोमेंट आट ए इज एंट इट सो टेन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू क्लॉक वाइज मोमेंट माई साइन कन्वेंशन इज नेगेटिव सो लेट मी राइट इट डाउन ये वी गो डन वेरी इजी सो सेकेंडली वी हैव दिस दिस इज नॉट अ फोर्स दिस इज बेसिकली अमाउंट ऑफ अ कपल सो नो परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस हैज टू बी मल्टीप्लाइड एंटी क्लॉक वाइज पॉजिटिव सो प्लस फिफ्टीन के एन एम थर्डली यू गॉट दिस सेवन पॉइंट फाइव दिस इज द लाइन ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ द फोर्स परपेंडिकुलर ड्रॉप फ्रॉम ए इफ यू वॉच टू प्लस टू फोर प्लस वन फाइव प्लस वन सिक्स दिस इज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाई सिक्स क्लॉक वाइज मोमेंट दैट्स वाई नेगेटिव डन एंड फाइनली नॉट फाइनली दिस टू दिस इज द लाइन ऑफ एक्शन एंड दैट्स द परपेंडिकुलर ड्रॉप If you just try to calculate this, five, six, seven, eight, eight point five. So two multiplied by eight point five. That two clockwise. That's why negative sign. And finally, take a look at this R B cos thirty. R B cos thirty is creating an anti-clockwise moment at A. That's why a positive sign. So plus R B cos thirty multiplied by the entire beam span. That is A B, which is equal to we just do the total. Four plus one five. Five plus three eight plus one nine. Okay. And yeah. As far as R B sine thirty is concerned, it is going to this is the line of action. It is passing through this point A only, and this is the point about which we are taking the moment. And hence, R B sine thirty's contribution to the moment is zero. Okay, so all of this covered all the forces, equated to zero, get the value of R B. It's eight point six, and that's my first answer. A very important one. Secondly, what I'm going to do is I am going to go for summation of all the forces along x direction is equal to zero. Ax2 is to the right, therefore positive. Let me write it down. Rb sine theta is to the left, that is negative. Let me write it down and equate it to zero. Rb's value is 8.6, so let me plug in the value as 8.6 over here. And on solving this equation, I'll get Ax. Okay. One more answer. Done. Thirdly, let me go for summation. F y is equal to zero. Sir, if you watch, uh, there are plenty of forces to cover. So first of all, this a y upwards. That's why positive. Ten. Sir, downwards negative. Um, seven point five downwards negative. Two downwards negative. Here it is. Anything else, sir? R b cos thirty upwards positive. Any other vertical force? No, sir. Equated to zero. Do we know the value of R B? Yes, sir. It is eight point six. So plug in this value and solve for A Y. This is what you get. One more answer. Here we go. Okay. Now, uh, I mean, these two forces will make one single resultant. So we are going to go ahead and calculate that. So R A essentially is equal to A X square plus A Y square, obviously inside an under root. Okay. And uh, you just need to plug in the values first of all. A X is four point three. You need to put it over here. And uh, AY is twelve point zero five. We need to put it over here. When you do that, this is what you get. Solve for it. Okay, use a calculator. Twelve point eight is the reaction at A. Done. These are the final values. And thirdly, um, you can also find the resultant, the angle that the resultant makes. Very simple formula. Y direction force, X direction force. Okay, so you already have these values: twelve point zero five and four point three. Twelve point zero five and four point three. Just put it. Do the inverse. This is what you get: seventy point three six. That means the resultant makes an angle of seventy point three six with the horizontal. Watch. Here is the resultant, and let me zoom in. A X A Y. Okay, and that's the resultant. It is making an angle of seventy point three six with the horizontal. Okay, I firmly believe now you've got a fair idea as to how you can deal with such questions. Now, so before I end this video. If you want to learn engineering mechanics in a very comprehensive 
in a very organized fashion all the chapters in a very organized way statics dynamics you can enroll in my engineering mechanics course it is available on my application you can download the application from the link provided in the description okay go ahead it's an apk version of the app there is absolutely no harm in downloading and installing the app on your device no problem whatsoever go ahead and do that and if you want to learn engineering drawing again a course is available video lectures are there completely complete notes are there mcqs are there subjective questions are there hmm? what more do you want <laughs> so make your preparation very concrete and strong and robust and for that you just need to download the application and enroll in any of the courses that you feel that you're not confident in okay i'll give you that confidence and don't worry uh, you can also set, schedule a session with me just speak to me i'm always available on by the chat box on the application and if you've got any questions on engineering mechanics any doubts on engineering mechanics send that question to me usually i've seen that there are some diagrams involved so i mean it would be better if you can send those questions to me via the chat box send me a picture of that uh, problem and i'll definitely make a video on it okay so guys yeah that was from all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or queries to write them down in the comment section below i'll be very very happy to answer them right so if you find this video helpful do like the video and um, share it with as many friends and classmates as you can so that they can also benefit and yeah subscribe to this manas patnaik channel so that uh, you stay updated with all my latest content and don't forget to press that bell icon right thank you very much have a nice day